Hey guys, welcome back to my preview and my predicted lineup for Leeds United against Arsenal at El at Ellen Road tomorrow uh, afternoon. Ellen Road is never, never, ever an easy place to go to. Um, it's never an easy place to go to, uh, Ellen Road. Um, Last time we went there, we hammered them 4-1. That's because Martinelli was on fire. This time though, I think it will be different. It will be a lot more challenging to beat Leeds because they had Marcelo Bielsa in charge when we uh, played them at, at, at Ellen Road. Um, I think though this is going to be much different. This is going to be a much different game. Uh, the atmosphere is going to be electric uh, tomorrow. I... Um, the game's not on telly, but um, I can get it from the uh, dodgy box. So, ha! But yeah, so um, Ellen Road never an easy new place to go to. Um, and I think I'm not saying that he will, and I I will honestly. If I was Arteta. I would, I would definitely make a couple of changes for this game. Um, like, no one knows if Jesus is going to be back or not, so maybe Enketia might have to play or something like that. But with that said, let's get into my predicted lineup. In goal, the most obvious choice in all of this, Aaron Ramsdale. No question about it. He's our, he's our number one keeper. He plays in the Premier League. Turner's just playing in the in the Europa League, uh, so yeah. Back four, so I'm gonna start at left back. Uh, Takiro Tomiyasu, he was brilliant there when he when he played there against uh, Liverpool. He just hasn't shown what he can do at Arsenal yet, so I think this season could be um, the the season where he starts kicking off his Arsenal career. And uh, yeah, for me, Tomiyasu, right back. Um, this is where I think I would. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep Ben White there. He's been exceptional there. I mean, the the, the funny thing about it is that he's not even fucking, he's he, he's not even a right back. He's a centre back. But Saliba's there, so he can't play uh, as centre back. For me though, White keeps his spot easy. So left centre back, Gabriel. Gabriel had, had a bit of shaky moments against Liverpool. Um, Gave the ball away for the first goal, which was scored by Darwin Nunez. But apart from that, I think, you know, all round, Gabriel has had a good season so far. But the player who's had a better season, William Saliba, alongside him. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be singing his name tomorrow. Uh, I made up a new song for him as well. I'll put that on my channel later, That um, the new Saliba song. <coughs> Not the... Da -da 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 not that one. Da 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 Not that one. Um, it would have to be um later on on my channel, but it's one I made up, and you guys will like it. Um, but yeah, um, into the midfield. Um, first of all, Granite Shaka. He has been phenomenal. He has been one of our best players. This season so far. Easy. One of our best players. Granit Xhaka. I never thought I'd say this. But I think Xhaka is now a very important player to Arsenal. Alongside him. Thomas Partey. Yes, Sambi Lukonga needs minutes. But yes, Partey starts in the Premier League. And yes, if Partey's fit. Then yes, you play him. Simple as that. First of all. Now we get into the attacking players. First of all, on the left-hand side. Gabriel Martinelli. He has been... He was a... Biz... He was... What's the word? Extraordinary. Awesome. Brilliant. Stupendous. Everything fantastic against Liverpool. Can he keep it up against Leeds though, I wonder? Can he keep it up against Leeds? I wonder. Can he keep it up against Leeds? M moving on to, the, on, on, on to the right now. Um, I'm going to go with Bukayo Saka. I think, you know... Um, the goals that he got the last time, uh, they were good. Uh, Martin Martinelli with the assist and 
the other one was a penalty for a foul on, on Jesus, but yeah. Yeah, for me, it's Saka. Attacking midfielder Martin Odegaard. I would start Vieira, but he, um, I did say that against Liverpool as well, and Vieira didn't start, so uh, for me, it's still um, Martin Odegaard. Up front, as the main striker, there's two options I, w I would go with. I'm going to stick with Gabriel Jesus, because fingers crossed, and I'm keeping them crossed. Wait. How do I cross them? Fingers crossed on both fingers that he is good. That he is okay. Because he is the reason why we are top of the league. He is the reason why Arsenal Football Club are top of the league and above the likes of Manchester City, Manchester United, Spurs, Chelsea, Brighton. Uh, yeah. Newcastle. So yeah, for me, it's Gabriel Jesus. And that is it for my predicted lineup. Um, tomorrow, I cannot wait for tomorrow. Um, my score prediction. I'm saying three one Arsenal. I'm saying Leeds United one, Arsenal three. Um, goals from a Rodrigo um, penalty. I'm guessing um, conceded by Gabriel, obviously. Um, a Rodrigo penalty, and then I think Martinelli will get the first one. Uh, Saka will get one, and uh, Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu. That's what I'm going with. Um, that's it for my preview and my predicted lineup. Um, so yeah, that said, come on the boys, come on the boys, come on.